Here is a second example that concerns the normal distribution. If x is normally distributed with parameters mu and sigma squared, find the expected value of the absolute value of x minus mu. This is kind of an interesting expected value because you know that the variance is the expected value of x minus mu, the quantity squared. And in that particular case, the squaring takes care of the fact that some values might fall to the left or some values might fall to the right of mu. In this particular case, instead of squaring, we're going to use the absolute value. So in some ways, this right here is the mean absolute deviation of x from its mean mu. And so this is, in fact, also a measure of variability in the same fashion that the variance is a measure of variability. So to start out the derivation of this quantity, the expected value of the absolute value of x minus mu is the integral from minus infinity to infinity, which is the support of the random variable x of just x minus mu multiplied by the probability density function of a normal. So this first step here is by the definition of the expected value operator. Now the second thing we do is we change the limits instead of going from negative infinity to infinity we go from mu to infinity we drop the absolute value bars and we double. All of that is based on the symmetry of the probability density function f of x about mu. Well, the next step then is to pull some constants, and I will just label this as algebra out front. Notice you can um, pull a sigma out, which will leave a sigma squared in the denominator. You can pull this square root of 2 pi out to join the 2 that's already there, and that leaves you with this integral right here. Well, fortunately, that integral, except for a negative here, is of the e to the u du uh, form. And so when you perform the integration, you get this quantity right here. Notice the 2 divided by the square root of 2 is replaced with a square root of 2 here. And when you plug in infinity, you get e to the minus infinity. That's going to be 0. And when you plug in a mu here, you get e to the 0 power. That will be a 1 and the negatives will cancel. So you just get the square root of 2 over pi times sigma. That can be confirmed in Apple with the following statements. x is set equal to a normal random variable with parameters mu and sigma. Don't forget you put in a sigma here, not a sigma squared. And then you call the expected value function with the random variable x and the function x is the absolute value of x minus mu and that will return the square root of 2 over pi times sigma.